Let's talk about it. How does it feel to be just home next to Gianna right now, man? Oh, it feel it feel good because I never thought I'd be able to sit by her again. You know how mm -hmm. the tragedy, everything went, but it feel awesome though. You know, it's been we're hitting almost two weeks. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about how you are physically doing right now, Anthony? Uh, I'm I'm physically emotional, broken in the inside. Can't barely think right or barely even sleep. You know, I'm working on it. It take this take time by time, day by day. And it's it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. You're 32. Yeah. Physically fit well before all this happened, yeah. right? Yeah. Talk yeah. about talk about if you can what you can't do right now. Man, I can't work. I can't pay my kids. I can't go outside and enjoy myself like I used to. Sitting at home every day. I'm the type of person that just get up and that be gone. This right here, I'm not used to this at all. It's 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 a heartbreak to me. So I see you able to move. I see the right leg is moving. Uh, Can you talk about what the injuries are to your left foot and ankle right now? Oh, right now I got a I got a rod in my in my in my shin right here from from right here all the way down to my ankle. Betty can move it. Betty can stand on it and turn off the bruises. Like man, it's just man. It's crazy, man. Can you? I'm gonna ask a right. question. So I'm looking at this right here, okay? The pain that we're dealing with. How much pain are you in right now? Oh, a whole lot of pain. Thriving every day, all night, every day. It's thriving right now as we speak. It's just like it's it's bruised right here, bruised right here, bruised down here. Like my liver broke into pieces. Is your skin off? Yeah, some of my skin is kind of, uh, off. Got a whole skin right here. They're coming off. Got a whole skin right here. You know, fluid, fluid in my feet. I can't really move my feet, none of that. It's just the pain, the pain here is like a 10. Like a 10. A 10. Like You're a in the 10, 10. right I'm now, not, like two weeks 10. later. You're yeah, still in the 10. Still in the 10. Two weeks later, still in the 10. It's like it ain't going to go nowhere. So it's just like, it takes time. Time. It takes time to heal. Got you. You spent, what, a week in the hospital or just over a week or under a week? How many days were you in the hospital, Anthony? I spent like... A, one, two, three, about four days in the, four days in the hospital. I worked, I worked on myself sitting there. You know, I can't that sit in one spot. So I, it been emotional to me. So I had to get up and work on my therapist, and then like they taught me to get out of there. You know, and I had to want to come see my kids. I had to want to come home. You just wanted to come home. Want to come home. It happened Tuesday. I got out Friday. So I didn't want to come home. I miss my family. You're sitting in the hospital room, and I can imagine that. So much is going through your mind. At what point did you realize the severity of what happened when you were in the hospital? When I woke back up, when they when they came, when I woke back up, when they came from doing a uh, doing the operation and I uh, came from Amland, when I woke back up and I looked and saw myself in the hospital, Ed that came back to my head, what happened? Went back fast, what happened? Ed that's gone. Like I'm thinking of it right now. I'm talking to you like. I'm thinking, talk to you at one time, they ain't gonna never go nowhere. It's, it's horrible, man. So if I, over the phone, you mentioned like every time you close your eyes, what? I see, I see the vision of my daddy falling. Every time I close my eyes, I see, I see me, and my daddy, my uncle on that porch, and we hear a brick fall, and I'm looking at my daddy trying to trying to run, but he can't make it. But the brick fell and made him go under to the base, and I see my uncle getting hit. I just see myself there trying to run. That keep trying to run, but I couldn't run from the bridge. And I said, I said, get knocked out. I was knocked out. I don't know how long I was knocked out. I said, no, I opened my ass. I just felt nothing but bricks on my body. The bricks are on your body. I don't know my body. I talked to so many people who tried to remove those bricks from you, your Uncle James, and your father, trying to get you free. Can you describe to me, I can't imagine. If they, some, they said some of the bricks were so heavy they couldn't move them. Can you describe to me... If those bricks are on you, are you breathing? And is it difficult to breathe? It's hard. The... It's hard to breathe. It was hard to breathe. I <laughs> and that looking, I'm just looking like I'm still in shock though. But the bricks are all on my body though. It's hard for me to breathe. Is that like is that some of my body, some of my body, my strength? You feel me? Help me just you know get out of there. How did you get out, Anthony? I I jump. I moved myself. I, I jumped up. Like I couldn't at first. I had to think, you feel me? I asked God, like, 
And the guy like, this how I'm finna die? He tell me, no, nah, get up. And get up. I don't know where the strength come from. I got up. I got up. Moved all them bricks off me. All on my back. You're a man of faith? You yeah, believe I believe in God? I believe in God. So when you say you were asking God for help, and you got people sit, telling me that they could not move those bricks, bricks, but you found the strength to do what? Move them bricks. I moved them bricks. I had I moved I moved bricks off my back. As I get off my back, I see a lot of bricks going falling. And I look up, I see a brick on my leg. Both my legs like this. And I see my uncle right here. I don't see my dad no more because he at the bottom. I see my uncle stuck between bricks, and now that see the brick, he helped me. I said, okay, I'm gonna try. I tried to lift this brick off my leg. I couldn't. I just sat there and I look around again like I'm trying. I'm gonna try. I'm calling my daddy. I'm calling my daddy. I'm calling him. I'm hearing him. He down there. So I just strength came again. I moved the brick off my leg. As I try to get up, my leg broke. But like so much going through my body, journey going through my body, I jump up. I jump up, try to help my leg. I couldn't help my uncle. Couldn't help my daddy. I told him, I said I can't help y'all, but I'm gonna try to get help for y'all though. I started yelling help. I just bagged up. Only thing I could do that bag of move. You're on the ground. I was on the ground. Away. School, school, I was, I, school, all, I had to get off the bridge. I had to jump off the bridge and school down again. That fly all the way back to the to the lot where we was at. So let's put this into perspective. If the people who got out and tried to help Uncle James and your dad tell me that the bricks were so heavy yeah. that they couldn't move it, mm -hmm. yet somehow you were able to, to move, move the bricks, bricks as you were asking. God for help. Yeah, yeah. What does that lead you to believe? And God, like, believe, believe Him, believe Him, because all I, all I was thinking about running is all I think about running is this time I'm finna die. And I hit, I fell out, and I asked again, this time I'm finna die. I heard that voice in my head say, No, you're not finna die. You know, I just got up. I don't know what the strength come from. I don't know how to come. I don't know nothing. I didn't know. I just got up, and my body was strong. And I'm moving out these bread. My head buzzed. I'm bleeding everywhere. My leg broke. My body scarred up. My back hurt. Like, but was, God? But God was there. He was there. He helped. He was there. I believe in him. He was there. He was there. He was there. You definitely have a testimony, right? Mm. Um, but you're going through a lot. Yeah. Can you take me back? You were living with your dad. Yeah. What were you guys doing on the porch? I mean, it was a, I don't remember. Uh, it was, was kind of a chilly day, right? Yeah, it was a chilly, it was a chilly day, you feel me? My dad, we got up that morning time. We got up that morning. We talked. I go in the room, talk to him in his room and stuff. We talked. We laughed. We said little jokes and jokes. Then me and him, I'm leaving out. You know, I said, like, man, I'm going to go back to my mama crib get some more food. Do you want some more food? He, I don't want no more of that. I said, all right, man. He said, man, go to the store and grab, grab, grab me some kites. I'm, all right, pal, I'm going to go to grab some kites. Then when Jane came over, Jane came over there that's going to talk. We had our conversation and stuff. So you guys were just sitting we, on the porch? No, nah, we was in the house at first. Okay. Then we all then we all walked out, sat on the porch for a minute before I walked to the store. We sat there and talked, talked, doing our little talk, hanging out, talking. So I walked to the porch, I, mean, I walked to the store. As I come out to the store, usually my pops and him be going in the, in the house, but it felt so good outside. We ain't been outside in a minute on the porch, so we went, I guess they want to sit on the porch. They old school, so they want to sit on the porch. So. We walked. I came back. I'm looking. I said, uh, it, feel, it felt kind of weird to me sitting on the porch, though, but because they don't do it. I walk, we and get that's the thing about it. Normally, your dad is not a porch sitter. No, he'll, no, he don't come on. He'll, he'll come in there, that fit the air, and go back in the house. That's what he'll do. Come in there, fit the air, go back in the house. He don't usually sit on the porch like that. And it felt good that day, so we get, they want to get some air sitting on the porch. I walked back. I walked back, sat. I walked back, sat back on the porch. Me and him and James, that's talking. You know, my dad walk, my dad walk inside, inside the house. Man, James come to say to me, he'll, man, he'll come to say some jokes and jokes. Right, and stuff. you just on the breeze, right? We just talking and stuff. So me and my daddy, I say, so I got your kites. Uh, he said, all right, bad. He he go, he come back out with his phone. So we still cracking jokes, we laughing, sir. Next thing you know, something fell. Boom. We all look say, damn. Turns out he, turns turn out by the time, by the time we looked at each other, I just see my, I just see my daddy run to the, I just see my daddy run to the door. I see Jane run to the door, and, I, and then it's just a big old brick falling. Because my daddy opened that door, we all going to run to that door, because they were under the, they were under the, uh, the house. Porch. I was under the porch. I was right here on, on, on the second stool of the porch, so I was right that close to the door, too. But my daddy saw it. My, my, that brick fell, like everything started shaking. The, the building started shaking. We just say, what the hell? My daddy tried to get to the door. Boom, he didn't get to the door. He, open, he tried to open the door. It's a brick fell right down where he was trying where, to get into the and, and, and fell and hit the stair. As it hit the stair, it was hit. It was hitting my daddy, hitting Jane. My safety dog come my head, tried to run outside the gate. 
Mm. I couldn't make it. So the reality of it is you weren't as close to the front door. I wasn't close to the front as door everything, every, and, as, as they everyone were. else. Right, they were close. And, but, that's, and that's the thing, because had you been closer to the door, you potentially what? I would potentially be, be down with my dad yet. If I was up there, because soon the, the brick hit the, the brick hit the front stairs first, and the inside that like that came down collapsing in the middle, boom, boom. Then that's how it, it like it just like it's like people throwing bricks at you, and you couldn't just miss them bricks. It's like you couldn't just duck and dodge them at all. It's just like they kept just hitting, hitting. I'm fine when it fell and hit my daddy. When my daddy hit, and like Eddie come back to my head when they when they still when the brick hit hit the stair, my daddy went down and the brick hit him. My uncle tried to jump up and and run to the door. A brick hit him, stops him, and hit, hit him back toward hit him back toward this toward where he was at. I'm saying all this before I turn around. So I'm thinking, hey, I'm fast. I'm fast. I can get out of there. No, it like it like bricks out throwing at me. They hit me. Hit and me. multiple bricks. And multiple just bricks that come falling, falling, falling. Now they getting hit. I'm like this, that's running. I'm trying to make it, but my eye, my body, I gave up a life. I gave up. I get because I didn't know I wasn't gonna make it out there. And those bricks are coming. They're they heavy. Come, they heavy. They coming hard. They coming hard. They coming. And are you hard. are you trying to shield your yeah, head? Yeah, are I'm you like trying that. to do yeah. what? That's why I'm, I'm running like this. But if one brick hit me, that knocked me out. Knocked me out. I was running, but I don't run that fast. Then they, now they woke up. They don't brick touch my. Now they woke up. That's how brick on my body. Now they felt brick on my body. You feel me? Now they look up, look around, see everybody out there that's looking like, looking at. Them, I'm like, man, help them. You feel me? Like this. And you keep saying you heard, you were screaming for help. Uncle James is screaming for help. Could you hear the cries from your father? Yeah, get this off me. Him, my, him, my dad. I heard because I'll call his name. He called. I'm calling my dad's name. Call my dad. I'm calling his name. Call now. Call now. He, James said, get this off me. James like help me. Get this off my dad. Said get this off me. You feel me? After that, I ain't hear my daddy no more. I ain't hear my daddy no more. It like it like something came to my body, and told me call my mama, and let my mama know what happened. I called my mama. When? When you were underneath the bricks? No, no when, I, when I got out the bricks. Okay. When I got out the bricks, like, when, when I got out the bricks, James was still talking, my dad was still talking. You know? So let me be clear. By the time first responders and firefighters arrived on scene, you were already free? I was already free. I got out by myself. And so I, don't, I don't think, because now you, you knocked out, you don't, when you knocked out, you don't think about you're thinking None. about yourself. You think you think you think, think about you think about, you don't think who helped you. You don't know who helped you. He knocked out. You knocked out, so you don't know somebody can't pick the bricks off you. Can't do anything. I don't know. I just saw myself getting stuff off my body, bricks stuff off my body. That getting up. And you did it yourself. I did it myself. Got it myself. They're like, is it like? Is it like I couldn't sit there? Like, is it like five later? I've been that's there. Like, I had to move and try to save them. But you couldn't get to. Them. I couldn't get to them. That's all my here. I had to go save my dad and save my uncle. That's what I kept saying. Say my dad, say my own. I kept saying, I, I couldn't get to him. I couldn't get to him. I couldn't get to him. That's the worst feeling ever. You can't get to somebody who you really love and they rate that value. You know you know your strength. Try to help them. Get, I got the energy in my body. The moment my body to move these bricks. These bricks heavy as hell. They heavy. So it's just like, like, man, like, I don't know, man. So let me ask you this. I mean, I'm hearing you. you keep, I'm thinking about you saying you keep reliving this. So you, you close your eyes. Are you hearing yourself saying, save my dad? What are you envisioning? I'm visiting. I'm, I'm saying vision. I'm vis- all I'm visiting is my daddy, my daddy falling, my Uncle James stuck, and I'm, and I'm in the grass. And I'm in the grass calling, calling my daddy's name and, and, telling, and telling James I'm going to help them. That's all that I could read is a vision that I'm facing my daddy falling. You keep, keep that keeps replaying. That's, it keeps repeating my head. It keeps repeating my head. Keep repeating my head. Keep repeating my head. Keep repeating my head all day, every day. All day, every day. Emotional, broken, like all day, every day, man. All Talk day, about every day. the relationship you have with your, you had with your dad. Oh, uh, it was awesome. <laughs> my dad was there since day one. I was the only boy. I got three other sisters. I'm the only boy, so I with him every day. Everywhere he went, I with him. Like from no matter where he go, I with him. Like he came all my games. Supportive, a supportive daddy, a good granddaddy. You know he loved everything. Like man, he was an awesome ass daddy. He, see, I curse. He was I an awesome daddy, Joe. He was an awesome daddy. He was a good daddy. He was a good daddy. I mean, that's, and that's love. You know, that's and, love. and that's yeah. the, that's. I think that's like the hardest, yeah. likely the hardest part of this, knowing that you you. You loved him so, yeah. But you couldn't save him. Couldn't save him. My dad, my best friend, my first, my first best friend, male uh, by the mail wagon. He ain't never let nobody never step up to be that plate, man. My dad was there. He was there. He was there. He was there for all of us. He was there for all of us. All of us, man. Like, 
man, so it's just heartbroken because you're like, as you get older, you expect, I you expect like, you'll be you. I would my I, like my dad would take me out a lot. So yeah. as I got older, I was going hanging out with him a lot. When he go out and go party, he'll call my phone like, man, I'm <laughs> yeah, over y'all here. Y'all friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm finna slide on you. I'm finna come, I'm finna come up and hang with you. Everything around me, huh? Let me ask you this. At what point did you realize your dad did not make it? When I called my mama. When I hear his voice no more. Because if like, something came my bike, it about, it about 10 minutes we was out there before I even saw getting for a phone. You feel me? As I started hearing his voice, it's like, it like something hit my bike. They call your mom and tell what happened. I called my mom and told my mom what happened. And my, so my daddy gone. So let me, let me take me back. You're hearing the voices. You're hearing yeah. James. You're hearing your dad. They're calling. Yeah. You, you break free. You're free. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, the, the cries for help become faint. They, yeah. They I stop or what? Yeah. I, as, I, as I kept calling my as I, as I, I called Jane. I called my daddy. I was calling both of them. My daddy was, my daddy was responding at first. But as I, as, as, I called Jane, called my daddy again. He started responding. And they're like, this it. My daddy, he he old. And his body already messed up already on one side. So I already, he was already going to the doctor and stuff. Right. Going to get therapy and stuff on, on his body. And he, he was messed up already a little bit. So at the same time, they're like, I already knew how, how weak his body was. And all the bricks were coming down. So I know that bricks on top of him. They was on top. So he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't breathe on them bricks. He couldn't breathe under the bridge. I already, I, I knew you it. barely could breathe. I bet he could have breathed under the bridge. I bet he could breathe. I know Jane bet he could breathe under the bridge too. Like that, them bridge was heavy. They was heavy and they hurt it. And like, not, not like man, y'all. Like man, seeing y'all, man, shoot. You know, there's a possibility, and you know it's to be the case. Your man. father's looking down on you. Yeah. What do you believe he's saying about you right now? You take care of your kids. That's all he kept saying. Me. Take care, take care of your kids. Take care of your home. Take care of your sister. Take care of your mama, and you say you the man. Of, you the man of the family now. Do what you, do what do what you gotta do, and keep a job. He tell me that. That way he <laughs> tell me. He tell me. He tell me. Take care of these kids. And right now, right now, he tell me, take care of and keep a job, and take care of your mom, your sister, them. Well, who's telling you to take care of yourself? He is. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. My day. My, my day was the type of day that. That like he gonna make sure you be on your stuff. He gonna make sure you don't fall off. He gonna keep telling you everything you do, keep doing it, don't push it. And about them kids, he did not play about them kids at all, man. He no matter what goes on, no matter you don't be able to take care of them kids. I took care of y'all, then I, I said, yeah, you did. I got a question for you. Are you left? I mean, so many people are left wondering how did how we got to this point. It's been nearly two weeks for you. Are you left wondering how what happened to the building? Was there ever anything that you saw visiting or living there briefly that said something isn't right? No, is it like I've been we've, I've been going to since I was a kid, you know. My 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 auntie, my cousin, they're my cousin building. I've been going since I was a kid, so is it like is it like everything right because she was fixing it on it? You know, she was doing her thing to her, and it felt uncomfortable. It felt that it felt that okay. You ain't you might expect of some bricks to fall from top of a roof. Who gonna expect something like that? And everybody gonna expect that. So at the same time, like it's just like like everything that's that happened. Like it was everything was fine to me. It's okay to me because I feel if I felt uncomfortable, I won't be. Visit, be yeah. I won't yeah. visit. I won't be there. If he felt uncomfortable, he wouldn't be staying there. So it's just like it wasn't it wasn't nothing about that. It's just like. Stuff that happened, you want to expect. What like, questions are left unanswered for you? For myself, is like how, like, like how, how you gonna go forward from this? My question to myself, like, how you gonna go? How I'm gonna go forward off this right here? How I'm gonna think more? How I'm gonna, how I'm gonna get myself right? You know, I gotta get myself right for my kids. Leg, leg, I go back to the hundred percent. I got two boys. Who don't want to play basketball? Play that. How I'm gonna function with them? With that, I say think about this stuff in my head. Then I feel like now I'm scared to even do something on my leg now. Cause think about what go out again. What something happened to it. And so, how many surgeries have you had on your leg? I had I had one surgery on my Just leg. Just one. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, Gianna, how much have you been leaning on her? A lot. She's been supporting a lot. She's been there since day one, man. That's my little boo boo baby. Little thing thing. <laughs> It's my same thing, Joe. She she been, she been us since day one, Joe. We've been get we get for a long time. She haven't she ain't turned. She she been there. She been she she there supporting. She helped me do everything. 
You have me, have me get up and have me take my medicine, give me bring my food, bring my bring my food, bring my pop, do everything she 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 doing is helpful. Gianna, yeah. When you think about that analogy of him yeah. not when you think about him the witnesses being unable to remove those bricks, but Chubb being able to remove those bricks. And the and the faith he was calling on God, hmm. and somehow he found the strength to do something that. What does that say? Well, we always talk about God gets us through so many things. We've been together for going on fifteen years, and we've made it through a, a lot of situations by the grace of God. So, I feel like it just strengthened his faith and mine because I was questioning myself because I lost my uncle a couple years ago. So amongst us together, we, our faith has been tested a lot. So with that, uh, we have no questions. We have no questions. We give all praises. It's just, it was a real eye opener. How grateful are you? I mean, it's been tragic. You, you have, you lost, he's lost his father. Uncle James is still in the hospital. But how grateful are you that you still have them? I am so grateful. I am so grateful. Like, I'm a hostile person. <laughs> it's even changed my attitude, everything. I'm so grateful that he's here. Like, it's tragic that Aunt, that's what we call him, Aunt is gone. And, but I'm grateful he's alive. Very. Right, one final question to you, uh, Anthony. Have you been by the building? Did you drop, when you got out the hospital? Yeah. I went over there. Tell me what you what went through your mind. I started crying. I started crying. I started crying. When went as soon as soon as soon I'm getting close to it, so I get there, I started crying. I looked at it and started crying like this really just happened to us. Uh, this this right here fell down like this. That's stupid. That's how I said it is stupid. Or like, we weren't even a block. It's like way when he had a panic attack, he yeah, like, we were approaching. You couldn't even go by. Yeah, it was just difficult. Yeah, it was difficult, but I had to get over that, get over my shoulder. I had to go back and get over my hump. Because as I'm not getting over my hump, I'm not thinking about that building no more. You feel me? All I'm thinking about is what happened to that what happened to that building. So it's funny how a building that's been in the family for all these years uh -huh. had so many great memories for you. A lot of a lot of great memories. Mm -hmm. I was I was there, I was I was a kid. Playing over there, that like I was, my kids. Jackson kids, was the family spot. Jackson was the family spot yeah. to go to. My and my dad was the barbecue man. <laughs> yeah. He's the one barbecuing every every event, everything. He barbecuing. He barbecuing everything. But now you're trying to avoid Jackson right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. just too much for you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be in Chicago. I don't be in Chicago at all. I don't be in Chicago. Is it like, like me? And my dad took our last. My dad before that before the incident happened. Me and my dad took our last walk together. Going back, going back home to his house. You know, we going back there. We took our last walk, last ride on the bus. Our last talk that night, and our last talk on on the uh, on the porch. And it's it's crazy. You got five kids upstairs, yeah. two twins. Yeah. You know, seven twins. Girls. And what is it that you're going to make sure they remember about their grandfather? Oh, he was there. He showed he he showed me he showed them things like he was showing me, you know. I want to remember the, the the stuff the stuff he was telling them the stuff he was doing for them. They they like like everything they gonna remember everything about him because they was around him a whole lot that like, I was around. You him. gonna make sure of it? Yeah, I make sure of it. Mm -hmm. I make sure of it because the same the, the same thing the man taught me. I'm gonna teach him the same way. I turned out to be a good a good guy. So yeah, he did his job right. He did his job right. So I make sure. Make me remember him. Are you crying at night? Are you staying up at night? Yeah. What is it that's that's the hardest part? I mean, I know the pain of losing a father is never going to go away. It's not. But what is it that has you up at night the most, Anthony? Thinking about it. Thinking about it. That thinking about it and one of my daddy. That's thinking about the tragedy that happened in one of my daddy all. Like, I'm not used to not having my daddy because he's he really in my life though. He really in my life, like really in my life, a hundred percent in my life, thousand percent in my life. So I'm not used without him. So, so me being last time I had last time I had a cast on me, my daddy was right there taking care of me. 
take care of me, took to the hospital and everything, take care of me, get in the middle of the night, make sure, make sure I got an ice pack on my ankle, make sure I'm straight, make sure my food done, make sure that my daddy was there for me. But now, but then my first time bruised like that, my daddy not there. It's hard to even not, it's hard not, it's hard to sleep to not think he's not here no more. Can't call him, can't, can't go that bug him. Like, like man, man, we had a bun. He, he a Gemini. He's like, I'm a Gemini. Okay. So the bun. So y'all was, crazy, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three by We know about Gemini. Gemini's, yeah. right? Hey, yeah. I got, I, I got three kids, Gemini. My, my twin girls on the 29th. My son May 31st. Okay. Yeah. So they Gemini. My baby birthday May 26th. Okay. Yeah. So we, we in that deep, but man, me and him, you know, we had our little bun. We had our, day, our son and daddy bun. It's just, it's still not broken though. It's still gonna be there. I was always having my daddy bun. It gonna be a, it gonna be with me forever. So only thing about that, I'm that broken the inside of it though. Like mm. I'm broke. Like you feel me? I can laugh how I hear all I want to, but the inside. But when you're in your when you're in the quiet place, when I'm you're alone, and I, and not even when I'm alone. So I'm talking to y'all. Yeah, I'm hurt. I'm like a a shot of glad that you can't call a glad people put back together. You gotta put it piece by piece by piece together. That's how it is. Like, I'm broken. I never been broken like this before, but I know how to feel to be broken though. Yeah. But you got your girl and your family to do what? To be there for me, to keep me up, to keep me there, to keep me focused, to keep me not going down. You know, that's the only thing about my family. I love them. I love them. They, they, they make, sure I, I make sure I don't get that way. You know, they make sure I smile. They do stuff I normally do. They, my family there. My family there. My family there. My cousin, my, 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 my family, my daddy's side of the family there, my family, my mama's side of the family there. They, family, they, yeah. They family there. is there for you. They there. Mm -hmm. They there and they still there. You think you think sometimes with trash like they have like this, and then the front will be over with, and the family they go back to the they still cell, looking out. They still there. They still calling. They still calling every day. They still checking up on me. They they make sure I take my pills. They make sure I go to therapy. And she probably doing that. They call. <laughs> they call me. Make sure I take my pills. Make sure I'm going there. Make sure my body getting healed. They they doing that. All right. So final question for you: the the amount of therapy that you're going through. What are you, are you going through? Rehab? What did they What are they doing? And what how? It Extreme right now, music. right now they did today. I just came from the doctor. They uh they gonna perform that. They gave me a therapy to perform my rehab. So I'm kind of, once I go to rehab, working on my lid, working on my walk, my walking again, get my so I get my feet, my ankle. It looks like it's twisted. Yeah, my yeah, it ain't twisted. I really don't use it. I really don't use, it, but it ain't twisted like that's okay. how I sit. It's heavy, right? Okay. It's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy too. But that's how I sit though. But you know, my shin right here gone, so it's gonna take a minute for me to do anything. So therapy gonna be like a nice little time for it. And though I mean, not to diminish or minimize the injuries, but that's the only injuries you have besides the leg. Anything on the back? Uh, any cuts? I got, yet? I got cuts. I got. I had cuts on my back. Is healing. That that healed up. My head it got. That that took stay out. That that took stay out my head. My other leg right here. So from the brick, you had a you. you I got knocked out from the brick. My head was busted. Everything was busted. On my, I was busted on my head. I had. Bruises on my bruises on my back, my real my my real bruise right now. As I'm trying to get it healed right now. Okay, you know, I got it. It got cuts and stuff on my leg right here, on my arm and stuff from the wrist hitting my arm. Got cuts and stuff. Okay, you know, my shoulder got hit, my neck like them wrists was like, man, like somebody that was throwing them at you, like they was bad, like I'm mad at you that throwing them, you just couldn't duck and dodge them. Mm. That's crazy, man. And you would never thought something like that would happen to you. You never thought nothing had to a brick falling and being shaking. Who ever thought that? So let me be clear. You, when the bricks were falling, you heard the building shaking or the steps. One brick fell, the building started shaking. Another brick fell, the stairs went. In, the, the, the stairs went inside. They caved in. They caved in. It, it was that one big brick. You heard it, boom. Then you heard. And then you heard boom. We say, what the hell? Then you say, boom. I'm dead. Look up, I see my daddy fall, my uncle right there, and I just second man, go out there. And like the bridge, like you would think the bridge not finna fly over there where you at. That's what I'm saying. It's everything under the stairs. So you would think that the stairs gonna collapse, but when it, when the stairs collapse, like it just spread open and it just started flying. So once the stairs caved in, then the bricks just came in on that's top of I can't, you. Now, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, that's what I'm in my head. Like, how did I get hit with bricks? And, and it, everything happened, they came straight down, though. So I want to be, I'm just trying to understand, if you were, were you knocked unconscious? I'm not unconscious. But then when I you came, came to, I came to you were able to find the strength somehow after so, asking God for yeah, help. Yeah. And that's how you removed it. Yeah, that's how I removed it. Do you recall seeing the people trying to help Uncle James and your father? Yeah, they tried. They tried to help James, but they couldn't get down to my daddy. 
They couldn't because they. I, I, I understand they couldn't get down to my dad because it was James going down to my dad. James at James upper, so he was he, they, they, yeah, he was so they had opportunity to come help him and, and, and try to do something with him. But the brick was too heavy to move off him. They say it's a lot of them try to help, but some uh, they got nervous, so they say they, they didn't want to collapse on them no more. They I ain't wrong. You don't know you're going to keep on class or not. You got to know. They've been that class, and a big part of it missing that hold it up. So they ain't going to never know if it's going to class. So I say, y'all not wrong for that, but I just but like. You, you were hoping that they could help I them. I was hoping they could help them, though. I was hoping they, they, they could help them. I was hoping, but they couldn't, though. I tried to get up and help them again. I couldn't. My leg wouldn't let me. So I'm there holding my leg. They're hollering for help. But when my daddy passed, like, it, like his spirit came to my body, like, call your mom and let her know what happened. I'm okay. And you called mom and said I called what? my mom like, mama. I said, I, I, I call her Shonda. I say, Shonda, Katie been collapsed. Katie been collapsed. And my daddy gone. See what? I said, my daddy gone. He gone. James, James, sitting, James up here still, James sitting up here trying to get help. They trying to help James, but my daddy gone. See, I'm on my way. Then I called her. Told her, like, you got to calm down before I tell you this. So I called her and told her, like, man, Katie been that collapsed. And it just messed me up, and my daddy gone. And you didn't believe that? You no, couldn't register? I, I, no. I was in Dollar Tree. I had a whole panic attack. I didn't know what he was talking about at all. Yeah, then I FaceTimed him and let her saw it. But he FaceTimed me, and the kids were right there all in my phone, so everybody just lost their mind. Everybody yeah. just screaming, panicking. Jesus. Oh, yeah, I didn't know what to do. Damn. All right. Anything else you want to add, Anthony? Man, all I want to add, like, if if you have an issue, problem with your parents or anything going on with your parents, you should just fix that. Cause I just, I last time I saw my dad, he was falling at the bottom. I ain't see, I ain't see him no more. Talk to him no more. Like, it, being having parents is it, very good to have your parents in your life. Y'all argue a little petty little thing or don't got understand it. You be that's your parent. You be the adult. You just be the kid and go talk to your own parents. So. Don't let none of that stop you from talking to your parents because once they gone, you're going to be heartbroken. You're going to be crushed. You're going to be devastated. You're going to think about all the things. You ain't going to think about all the things that y'all been through. You're going to think about all, all the things that, 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 that could have been avoided in your life while y'all were going through it. You're not going to think about it. You're going to think about a lot of things, man. That's why I'm glad my dad's in my life that, that you know, you, your parents, y'all going to have little issues that you're getting grown and stuff, but it's going to take you as a, as a kid, right. you their kid. You that's go the thing, man. So that's the thing, you know, people say, what can you take from this? You're telling people. To talk to your parents. You're a kid. Enjoy, They're your parents. En enjoy, enjoy your parents because your life is really short. Life's short. Life, life blinking an eye. I didn't believe until that happened. I didn't believe life. Was, but I knew anything happened, but I didn't believe life. They changed my whole life around. My whole life changed after this right here. My whole life changed after this. Like, everything changed. Like, changed. My whole life changed. I don't, don't want to do, like, man, change. That stay close to your parents and tell them how much you love them. Cause man, I couldn't tell them that I love him no more. I couldn't. I can't wait to tweet my daddy. Man, him had plans that day. Man, him had plans to to watch the baseball game, get our drink, yeah. and chill, watch the baseball game. That was our plan that whole day. That, that was our plan. We planned that early in the morning time. Man, that's dad, a friend. Yeah, that's yeah. A, he was we a had friend our plan to the, the, play, the playoffs in the start. We used to watch the playoffs, chill, and watch the game. Wake up next morning and talk about it. That's our, our one. Man, y'all yo, love y'all parents because you don't know when they're going to leave or they don't know when you're going to leave. So at the same time, you got to keep your keep that. You're a kid. Say a kid, man. Long gotcha. your parents here.